life is possible, but not for long. For the first time, a NASA rover has created breathable oxygen on Mars. Welcome to the Space Diary channel. Before watching, I want to ask you to help our channel by liking and subscribing. The Perseverance rover has created as much oxygen as an adult needs to breathe for three hours. The first ever experiment to produce oxygen on another planet has yielded amazing results. Despite the fact that the amount of oxygen produced is not so large, it is still the first step towards a larger scale production of the resource necessary for the breathing of future settlers on Mars. For two years, the Perseverance rover has been creating oxygen on Mars from carbon dioxide taken from the rarefied atmosphere of Mars. With it, NASA scientists have summarized some of the results of this historic experiment and stated that the rover was able to create 122 grams of oxygen during this time. This amount is enough for an adult to breathe for three hours and, for example, a medium-sized dog for 10 hours. Thus, according to NASA, it is hoped that such experiments will lead to the emergence of larger scale installations that will create oxygen on the red planet and thus ensure the long-term presence of people on Mars. Scientists want to use the planet's resources to extract everything necessary for the life of future settlers. And first of all, they are talking about oxygen Breathable oxygen was extracted by the rover by processing carbon dioxide, which fills the rarefied atmosphere of the red planet, which is very inhospitable to humans. Approximately 90% of Mars' atmosphere consists of carbon dioxide. Therefore, using the MOXIE device, the Perseverance rover separated oxygen atoms and then stored them in a special capsule. The remnants of the processing process were released back into the atmosphere as carbon monoxide. According to scientists, in the future, astronauts on Mars will be able to create oxygen not only for breathing, but also to create fuel for space rockets. This way, future missions to the Red Planet will not require large quantities of fuel and oxygen, which will make such flights much cheaper. At the same time, a person will not be able to live on Mars without a spacesuit for even a few minutes. Not only is there no air to breathe, but the average temperature on the planet is minus 62 degrees Celsius. On top of that, the low pressure on Mars will cause blood to boil quickly. But that's not all. There is no protective ozone layer on Mars, and therefore solar and cosmic radiation can seriously harm humans. For example, it can lead to bone destruction. The large, deserted, cold, and inhospitable planet is still the main target for NASA's colonization after the moon. But the first manned flight there will take place no earlier than in the late 2030s. Was this video interesting for you? Please share your opinion in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and see you tomorrow for more interesting videos.